here. Today we're flying from Mobile, Alabama to Pensacola, Florida. I'm flying a Beechcraft King Air 350i. We'll be cruising at an altitude of 2,000 feet. And let's go ahead and get started. Take off the parking brake. Trying to keep an eye that I don't over torque the engines. I have a tendency to push the throttle too far forward. And yeah, just like right now, starting to blink over there. Trying to do a better job of staying going forward and straight on the runway. And why did it lock up? I don't know. Maybe Bluetooth related. Alright, uh, we're starting to lift up here. So let's go ahead and let it take off. We're ready to go. Landing gear. Flaps up. All right, we should start to gain some speed now, and we're almost in the right direction. Mobile Tower KH three six seven. Okay, so we are on heading. On our way up to the altitude that we want, I'm going to go ahead and turn on autopilot and yaw damper. Uh, it'll let me turn it. Gotta pay attention to everything at the same time. There we go. All right, it's going to do a fine course correction for us. Turn flight level change on also, so it doesn't go above our 2,000. Because we're leveling off, I'm going to go to halfway on the throttle. See where that takes us. Plain jiggled when I took my, took my feet off the rudder pedals. All right, so autopilot is still fine-tuning our heading here. We're at 2,000. Let's go ahead and go outside and grab the Xbox controller. Clear but otherwise mild day here over Alabama, Mobile heading Tower towards Florida. KH367 is Type Beechcraft King Air 5 miles east of Mobile 2000 feet. Request clearance to transition Charlie airspace. This all looks very interesting down here, so hey, I'm going to, to switch to the drone. And let's drop down there and kind of look around a little bit. Very foggy here. Cleared through the Charlie airspace. It should be around, I'm guessing, Cleared through the Charlie airspace 5 in the afternoon. It's 2, 2 p.m. on the west coast. So this is probably eastern time zone. Uh, it's not, not easy to see very much with all the fog. See so another airport here. <coughs> Mobile downtown. Now there's several layers of clouds. Interesting. Um, don't normally get to see little tiny clouds like this up close. I mean, of course, this is simulated, but still, it's very cool. Little puffs of water vapor. <coughs> All right, I'm going to reset the drone. Go to the external view. Inside. It's probably not much to see with all the fog and everything. Just a little too far. I like to get this kind of centered. It's hard to do that with the keyboard. Yeah, really not able to see very much. See a little bit of land there between the clouds. <laughs> Alright, 
looks like it's clearing up here. And I think we're over, yeah, we're going over water. Heading towards Florida. So I think it's time to go back outside. Let me reset the view here first. Go back outside. Oops. I have to remember to change stick orientation. When on the external view. Okay, now I got it. So the rendered stuff on the ground doesn't look great. Uh, still interesting to see. There's a big building coming up. We're about to go over. Oops, again, you have to flip orientation. I want to see if I can zoom in on that building. I'll switch to the drone. Uh, now I've kind of lost track of where it actually was. Maybe this was it down here? I thought the building was bigger. I thought it was a bigger building than that. Alright, let's reset this. At this point, I can't really see anything. Let's go see what that looks like from inside. So, you know, as a pilot, you've really got to just rely on instruments if you're in this situation, because you can't see anything. heavily on the Garmin, which is very easy to use, but if I didn't have that, I, you know, it might be a little tougher. Um, I think one way to make that safer, though, would be to navigate by VOR, because those are in fixed positions, so um, that way you sort of know exactly where it's going to be all go always going. I typically don't use VOR navigation, but I'd like to try that sometime. It's just a setting here one, two, zero, somewhere. Zero. Frequency change approved KH367. I don't want to change it now because it'll uh, alter the autopilot, KH3, but six, seven, it's one of these settings. Craft King Air Tree miles southwest of one Alpha Lima Five. Request flight following.
constant grayness is really kind of spooky. Let's go back inside. You just can't see anything at all. Um, we are... how close are we to the airport? Okay, we're close enough that I should take over from autopilot and start slowing down the plane. We never did get up to maximum speed, but we're still too fast to land, so go ahead and disengage. And I'm going to start dethrottling. Going to 120.65KH367. Pensacola approach KH367, 1,900 feet. It's a good reminder. I don't want to lose too much altitude. Okay, good. So we're dropping in speed. Uh, we're maintaining our altitude, pretty much. Looks like I'm unheading for the most part. I'm not as good, obviously, as autopilot, but it's alright. I'm doing my best. Um, again, you know, no visual cues, just have to rely on the instruments. If the Garmin went out, um, it would be pretty tough. I wouldn't know. I assume the uh, backup one up the top would at least give me level information, so I'd have that. And I could navigate by the markers in the game. Okay, I'm going to continue to slow down some more, we're approaching to the point where we're going to get into the landing pattern. So I'd like to approach that much slower. I think I just saw a lightning flash. Pensacola approach KH367. Request clearance to transition Charlie airspace. Okay, we're almost at the point where I can put the flaps down. I'm going to go ahead and put them down halfway. Push forward on the stick to keep from nosing up too much. It's always a little tricky to make that a smooth transition. I'm sure there's a way to do that to make that smoother. Um, Alright, that'll get us down in speed. I think I'll put it down the rest of the way, put the flaps down the rest of the way once I get into the lighting pattern. Pensacola Tower KH367 is 1 1 miles west with Echo to land. Alright, so we're going to have to pop our head up and see where this, see where this landing pattern entrance is. Always kind of surprises me, I never know exactly where it's going to show up. Make left traffic runway 26 KH367. Okay. That's good to know. Oh, there we go. Perfect. All right, let me reset my review. All right, so we're going at a really good speed. We'll just head over there, make our way to the entrance. Turn out to lose altitude. Finding the airport would be really hard without the entrance pattern. I wonder what would happen if the lightning hit the airplane. Probably nothing. Alright, so speed's good, altitude's good, flaps are halfway down. We'll need to bring them down the rest of the way. Hopefully the runway will actually be in view uh, when we get ready to land on it. Of course it'll show up on the Garmin. That's funny, I just heard the engines do something funny. It must have been a gust of wind or something. Suddenly hit them. It's 
so we should be in good shape to land. Still going a job of keeping the speed down. Just have to be patient and make our way over there. You cannot be impatient if you're trying to land a plane like this. With the weather changing so much, I'm going to hit the barometer more often. Yeah, that made a difference. Okay. I kind of love the lightning and thunder. I'm not hearing thunder much. I'm seeing those little flashes. All right, now I'm trying to see if I can do this one-handed instead of both hands on the stick. Doesn't really seem to help with stability though. I'm gonna go back to two-handed. It makes it easier not to over-adjust. I think when I put the thr flaps down the whole way, I'm going to have to throttle up because it's going to want to slow the plane way down. We're going to need that extra thrust to keep our lift, keep our speed. So I will drop them and then throttle up as soon as I get in there and straighten out. Beginning to see the land, so that's good. That's a good sign. Looks like we will be able to see where we're going. We were just in the in the fog layer. Okay, so a nice smooth turn into the pattern. It'll probably do its blinky thing once we're really in it. Well, sometimes it does that. All right, I'm gonna put the flaps down all the way. Landing here. Landing oh yeah, landing here. here as well. Landing right. here. Landing here. Where is the landing, landing gear control? Landing here. Right there. Okay. All right, I've put the throttle back up to the halfway point on the stick. A little slow, it's okay. I think just for safety's sake though, I would like to bump it up a little bit. those engines working hard against those flaps. I'm going to drop back down to the throttle now that we're getting close. Clear to land, runway and we'll lose a little bit of speed 67. on this turn, I think. I don't know if it's one turn or two, or it's two turns, that's fine. throttle just a little bit more. I feel like we're going too fast. And we may not lose much on this turn because it's descending kind of quickly. So in fact we are speeding up quite a bit. Let's pull the throttle down almost all the way. Alright, the landing pattern... Where is it? Oh, it's right there. Oh, I see. Okay, I didn't make a sharp enough turn. Slow, yes, that's true. Alright. Are you recovered from that? 
I did not realize how sharp that turn was, and I almost missed it. Okay, we're speeding up again. I don't want that. I don't want to go all the way bottom on the throttle yet, though. So I've got a little bit up. Just don't want to get going too fast. smooth and not oversteer on that one. But I think we can correct and get ourselves onto the runway. Um, I am going to have to nose down though a bit here. I'm going to pull back on the throttle and then we'll lift, lift it back up if we need to. I think we may be okay though. We're a little high so we've got that advantage. Close. I'm going to start nosing up a bit. That'll burn off some speed and help us to hover. Uh, I just don't feel like I'm nice and centered yet, but I think we're okay. Okay, I'm dropping the throttle all the way to the bottom. And let's just hover as long as we can here. Let's hover as long as we can. Okay, rear wheel, that's a little hard. Whoa. Okay, so I think we can get off here. Look at the sun, wow. Alright. Yeah, so at the last minute there, I had a little bit of trouble with that landing, but we're okay, I think. Is this where we need to go? Uh, this seems like another runway. I'm not sure where we're supposed to be going. I'll just head over there. Unless, is this... Would this be right, right here, maybe? Yep, okay, yeah, that's where I go. Alright, so we are in Pensacola, Florida. Let's contact ground and request taxi to parking. So, come to a stop, put on the parking brake laps up because I forgot about that. I'm down to throttle but it's running the engine a little high I guess for air cooling or something. Taxi to parking. Pensacola ground KH367 taxi to parking. You can see the internal temperature is high, so it might be trying to keep some air on it. Taxiing to General Aviation Parking via Taxiway Alpha Bravo Cross Runway 26 Bravo Charlie Cross Runway 35 Charlie KH367. Wow, the sun looks really pretty that way. I think what I'll do is temporarily stop put the parking brake back on, go outside, maybe switch to the drone. And just kind of see what that looks like. You're going to get a really cool reflection off the aircraft or the windows or something. Kind of, it's a little, hub, a little hard to do. If I go back to the external view, I can actually zoom in. Oh wait, that's not right. I've got to do that, that, oops, and that. And then I should zoom in on the setting sun. So that could also be a really interesting shot. Oh yeah.
see what makes it cinematic, I guess. That's kind of cool. Alright, anyway, enough fooling around. Let's turn the FD. Uh, well, actually, let's, tar let's pa taxi to parking. So, parking break off. Throttle up a bit. Am I hovering at landing? Didn't quite work like I expected for some reason. Um, that turn, that last turn was so sharp it just really kind of threw me. I need to get better at making sh safer turns like that. Um, I both undershot and overshot on some turns. It's just going to take practice. Yeah, we're going a little fast for taxiing, not too bad. I've got the throttle all the way down, so this is just idle speed on the engine. Let's slow it down anyway. I don't want to accidentally take off if a gust of wind comes by. That's why it's so important to put your flaps up when you land. I get going a little bit too fast and suddenly the nose starts going up. too fast. Alright, well we can turn here. We can p pivot. I'm trying to pivot on that right brake, but we're going too fast to make that smooth, so although it's kind of working. Can't really see where the arrows are. Oh, well it's right here, so we just pull right in and it will be good. And we even get a view of the sun right from our parking spot. How nice is that? Do you need to turn a little? Oh, that's pretty. Uh, it needs to be green. That means that we've landed, I think. There we go. Perfect. Parking brake. Engine off. Interesting. Warn fire bell cutout. Oral warning, okay. I don't know what that. I have no idea what that means. Oh well. Anyway, didn't seem to affect anything. All right, let's go turn off the airplane if I can find that in the dark. And that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to share, like, and subscribe. And I will see you in the next video.